What would you do if you weren't afraid? Very exciting time in our life. It's a time that is fleeting. And the answer is I would record her and I would document her life. Is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? Hi, hello! It's me. What the heck are you doing? <laughs> hello again! I... We finished up our... Oh, what's your leg? Hold on. Okay, now, come on. Okay. We finished up the last vlog, like we recorded the last bit of the last vlog last night, and I had planned on editing it last night and the computer wasn't cooperating, and then I went, stop it, <laughs> no, no. I'm, quit. I'm telling the story, <laughs> and then um, this morning, well not this morning, this evening, I tried to get on the computer to work on a present for my grandma, and like it will not open any of my folders it will open the internet but that's all none of my folders will open so that means all of my pictures and stuff so i put it in save mode we'll john put it in save mode and i put all of my pictures on my external hard drive so they're safe in case we have to take drastic measures I don't know. but anyway we're playing this game and i want it to you guys to play along with us what did it tell you want to tell them the rules to the game um. We don't say the words. Where um, we sing a song, but we don't say the words. We um, lip sing it. Yeah. Okay. So we've already started a little bit. Who's whose turn is it next? Um, John. Okay. Well, no, yours. Okay. But, but it's John now. Okay. So it's John's turn or mine? Um, John's. Okay. John, are you ready? Again? Hold on, Lily's pulling the string. Okay, ready? Go. Start over. Wish we could turn back time to the good old days. Did you know that song, ma'am? Yeah. It's not fair if, he does, if we don't know the words, is it? Okay, so it's your turn now. Okay. Um. The shuffle. Cupid Shuffle. Kids. Is that right? Oh, Kids, Kids Bop Shuffle. Is it your turn? Yes. Miss Pris? She claimed it. <laughs> okay, so it's my turn then, huh? Yeah. Okay. Um, Mommy, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. see you again? We're never getting that back together? Nope. Everything will be all right if I give up. What does the fox say? Yeah, woo! So who got that? You did she half did. and you did half. She <laughs> got it. She finished it. March to the beat. Yes. Yes. I don't know that song. I don't think I've ever actually heard that song. It's on the movie. Teen Beach something. Teen Beach movie. Teen Beach two. March to the beat. At the end. March to the beat. Don't the beat. And the movie is just great. Why are you walking me? Because you're so darn cute. What? You fixed it. What? You fixed it. Who fixed it? Yes. I fixed it. I said, he said, oh, I got it. And I said, oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He said, well, thank you, John. And I said, no. Jesus helped you. I was praying the whole time. 
I have folders. Thank you, Lord. Okay, it's recording. Hold it out like. I don't know what I'm going? doing. Hold it. I don't yep. even know what I'm doing. You can go shop something. Record that. You're going to record yourself talking. Really? Okay. Yeah. Tell him a story. Tell him what. Tell him about your Valentine's in school today. Uh, you gotta turn around on yourself. Um. Okay. Today at school. Yeah. Valentine's. Yeah. Tell him you got Valentine's. Tell him the different kinds of Valentines you got. Yeah. I got a frozen Valentine. Look right here. And what else? Tell him about the pencil that you got or the pen. Um. I forgot. So I'm going to No, he's standing up. Hey, he's standing up. Mom. Okay, let mom get it for you. Don't dig off there. Here, look right there. Look at all that pink. Wait, we want chocolate. One white and one chocolate. Here's chocolate with a little bit of white. Happy Valentine's Day. Are you two my Valentines? Caitlin? Look at me. Are you my Valentine? What the heck, Blue? Get out of here. Get out. <laughs> Lily. Oh. Goodness. Oh, you Lily. Is it good, baby? So these are really cool. They're rice snacks that are apple flavor. And so when she starts chewing it, it dissolves in her mouth. Kind of teaches how to chew it and swallow it. But she's loving it. She's already ate half of it. You put this sticker on there. Happy Valentine's Day, baby. Just lay it down. Happy Valentine's Day. Because I'm not going to put any of those in these totes. Mm hmm. On. It says one. One. Duh. Day. Bun. Mm hmm. Is that word? Bunny? Buster. Buster. Busters. Busters. Friends. Came. Mm -hmm. Over. Mm-hmm. Hello. Happy day after Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving? <laughs> I planned that up in my head and everything. And the whole time I said Thanksgiving. <laughs> Happy day after Valentine's Day. So we finally got some use out of our Moses basket. And Lily is still chomping on these little rice things. And she loves them. Do you love it? You like it, don't you? I think she just likes being able to feed herself something. Um, my dad has been like trying his best to find something for her because he wants her to have something like that just to snack on. And mom said that he spent like an hour in the baby section, section yesterday going through and looking at like the ages and he finally found this one that said six months, so. What has Papa got for you? Huh? Dad's just glad that he can bring her snacks now. Do you like them? You like them? Oh, no, like, what yeah, flavor are they, Papa? <laughs> Apple cinnamon. Apple cinnamon. Apple cinnamon. Mmm. Is it good? <laughs> it's a good baby. 
Look at her chewing. That's good. It's mm -hmm. Oh, I need to scrape this. I don't wanna. You wait it too long, now it's kinda packed down. Maybe. I know it is. I can fill it. Shut up. Oh, and we're sliding. Oh, shoot. I want to show you guys the road. If it'll stop being blurry. So, John had to stay home today because um, we don't have four-wheel drive cars and our road was just too bad for him to get out. Like, the thing is, if they don't scrape the roads by, what, 630? Sorry guys, I just knocked you up against me. <laughs> but if they don't scrape the roads by 6.30 when John has to leave, like he can't plow through the snow with his car. So, he had to stay home today. But, um, my parents stopped by our house and they have a, oh, like we're sliding. They, had a, they have a big Durango. And so we borrowed their car to come out really quick to grab some dinner. Because I laid some steak out to cook, like to thaw, and so I could cook it later, but I just don't have it in me. Been editing the vlog all day. So I'm gonna get some pizza. And John got some kind of wacky combination. It was like a Parmesan, white cheese, butter, garlic sauce with uh, roasted pork. <laughs> She's gotten used to the camera. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I don't know why that looks so funny to me. She's trying to look that way. <laughs> Yummy. So I was getting ready. I was getting ready to bathe um, Lily, and I was thinking she is seriously outgrowing her little pink bathtub. And um, I, I want her to be able to sit up and play in the water, but she's still not like. Super, her back isn't strong enough for me to feel comfortable just sitting her in the water yet. So I remember had, I had seen this idea on like Facebook or something and I decided that I would try it out. I just stuck, this is actually my mom's old clothes basket that she just uses like to transport stuff back and forth now and it ended up at my house and we're using it and Lily loves it. She loves being able to sit up and play. Really. It's like, it's perfect. I just sit a towel on it to make it nice and comfy. Hey. Hey. And all of her toys are within arm's reach. Are you having fun? Are you having fun, Shippy? Yeah. I think it's a great idea. Whoever came up with this idea was a genius. So I just got a really exciting call. This is probably a bad time to film because I'm in the middle of cleaning my kitchen. But for those of you who watched our last vlog, you guys saw um, my shredded chicken recipe. And you probably noticed my old outdated countertops. And I'm not sure if I have um, mentioned it before in any of the vlogs, but when we got our house, we renovated the entire thing, and the last thing that we kind of saved to do, because it just
this wasn't like a pressing matter, um, was our kitchen. And while I was pregnant, we redid our cabinets. And I think they look pretty spiffy. They were a super, super, super dark brown. If I can find a picture, I'll insert it here. Sanded them, it was, a, oh, it was like a two week long project with all of my food and stuff in our dining room. It was awful, but we got that finished. And then we were talking about doing our countertops. And for the most part, our kitchen is up to date. You know, we've not got blue appliances or anything, but um, our countertops are just old looking. And like, I don't think I've ever explained what this is here, but I did notice it in, last, in the last vlog, and it's just like a pain. I think it's hideous, but um, the people who own this house before us, I don't know if, you know, they had accidentally, like, hit it or dropped something on it or what, but there's this huge hole and they had um, this old nasty cutting board, like, glued down to it and you can see where the glue was and um, it was, it was just gross. And so, we kind of filled it in a little bit, and I usually keep a wooden cutting board just sitting on it. Well, I've used my cutting board so much that I broke it, and um, so right now it doesn't have anything on it, so it just looks nasty. I have started this, I don't know, usually when we do renovations on our house, John and I aren't in debt besides our house and our car. Like, we don't have this looming credit card debt, $10,000, $100,000, whatever. Um, but, typically when we do renovations on our house, I, or we, will put it on credit and then pay it off gradually, or if he gets a bonus or something, we'll pay it off then. Well... I have started following this guy called Dave Ramsey, and I don't know if any of you have heard of him, but if you're in debt in any way, or you're just wanting to figure out your money or budgeting a little bit better, I highly suggest you look him up, Dave Ramsey. But he is like totally against credit, and he thinks basically that the only debt that you should be in is for a home, not a vehicle or anything like that, just a home. I've kind of been following him slightly. He is um, for like something called a cash envelope system. Um, and I really don't do that. Where basically you cash your paycheck at the end of the month or whenever you get it and you pay cash for everything. But one way I have kind of used the cash envelope system is with saving for renovations. Because I what I told John was... If we can't afford to do it right at this moment, then we can wait. We can save instead of putting it on credit and paying it off because you're paying that interest rate also when you do that. Um, but instead of doing that, we'll just save gradually and then do it. Well, I just got a call from John saying that it's not a bonus that he received, but I'm going to call it a bonus because I really don't know how to explain it and it's probably too much to explain anyway. But he got this check. Um, from his work and so it's going to completely cover the cost of our new countertops and I'm thinking that I might want a nice backsplash. I don't know. It's something to think about. But it's going to completely cover the cost of that and we're going to have a little bit left over to put towards our vacation that's coming up in June. We're going to the beach for a week with some family um, and I've been saving up for that. So it's going to pay off our vacation what, I mean, that includes what I've already put towards it. And it's going to buy me new countertops. And so I'm so excited. Um, and then, so what I'll start doing is I'll take the money that's in the fund for the countertops now and put it towards vacation and, like, spending money and everything. So I'm so excited. Here soon, our next project is going to be some beautiful countertops. I've already picked them out. Um, and I think that will complete my house. Now, the only thing that I need to do now is you guys will probably see in some vlogs just some things like this cracks and things just from our house moves it's, it's not a brand new house and we fixed it all when we moved in but um you know houses expand and contract and get little 
imperfections in them. So other than the countertops, it's just like minor stuff that we have to do to our house. And we're finished with the inside. Well, starting this spring, our project is going to be the deck out back. And we already have the funds for that. And so I'm so excited. You guys are going to love it. We've got a pool. We're going to build our deck around the pool. And um, and then I have some other landscaping things that I'm going to do outside next year also. And then the next year, we're going to do a metal roof. And then the next year, we're going to do vinyl siding. Uh, because we have wood on the outside of our house right now. And it's just so really good. But so excited for the renovations. I'm so excited that we're vlogging. So I get to share this stuff with you guys and I get to have these memories to look back on. And so pretty soon you guys are going to see new countertops and my kitchen will no longer be outdated. <laughs> what? She wasn't being happy on my lap. She kept crying. Hello? You done? You have not been a very happy girl today. Somebody's teething. And I think I'm feeling the effects more than she is. Because she stays up all night and she doesn't take a very good nap. So we've tried to take a nap three times today and it just hasn't happened. She's happy right now. So. Do you want to tell them what we're getting ready to go pick out? Countertops! Woohoo! I didn't really anticipate going tonight, but we gotta go out to get Lily some teething tablets and some stuff, um, cleaning stuff, so might as well stop by and do it. I'm excited. So by next weekend, it should be done. That's exciting. I can't wait. I think it's gonna transform the whole look of our kitchen. I really do. Um, Side note, do you see the middle of that wall right there? I'm looking for a piano. So if any of you know of anybody who has a, what's it called, a wall, wall piano? Wall holder. Let me know because I'm looking for one to go right there in the middle of that wall. Which we might got one of those too. Yeah, maybe. maybe. I want to go look at it and make sure it's nice. But anyway, I've got to go fix myself up just a little bit and then we are gone to get you some teething tablets. Yeah, there's a church in a town near where we're It's not a church, it's a school. Oh, it's a church. Mm -mm. It looks like a church. Okay, a school, our nephew plays basketball there, and they saw a piano there, and they said, oh, that looks nice. And the guy there said, well, you can have it if you want it. So we might go look at it and see if it fits our house. Yeah, I just want her to learn how to play. Maybe I can learn, too. You know how to play. I know chords. But I kind of feel like if I end up being the homeschooling mom, which the way things are going, I, I'm seriously considering it, that could be part of it, is her learning how to play. So, I don't know. I guess we'll see. I guess guess we'll let you guys know in five years. <laughs> Piano, guitar, drums. Bass. All of it. Maybe we'll turn our big room into a music room. Okay, I'm gonna go get pretty. Are you playing by yourself? That's a good girl. We've turned her crow sleeper into a kind of a playpen that's up high, right? And you're playing by yourself with all your toys and watching Winnie the Pooh? You're such a good girl. Yeah, you got your whole bag of toys. Have you pulled anything out? What, Blue? Ah, no, no. Tell him, say, no, no, Blue. Don't scratch my stuff. I'm glad you're playing by yourself and being a good girl. 